हेलो माय सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर विपुल याग्निक आई एम कंसल्टेंट एंडोस्कोपिक एंड लेप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन एट निस्टर सर्जिकल हॉस्पिटल पाटन गुजरात इंडिया माय को ऑथर इज डॉक्टर सुशील दावका हु इज प्रोफेसर ऑफ सर्जरी एट एस एस आर मेडिकल कॉलेज बेलारिफ्स मॉरिशियस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सप्रेस कैरेटर लिविंग सार्कोमा पब्लिक पेरीफेरल प्रिमेटिव न्यूरो एक्टोडर्मल ट्यूमर ऑफ द स्मॉल बॉवल प्रेजेंटेड विद गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल परफोरेशन along with brief review of literature a 42 years old gentleman presented to the emergency room with signs and symptoms suggestive of peritonitis his laboratory investigation revealed severe anemia with hemoglobin of 5.2 g percent and leukocytosis with lab sift his liver and renal function were also altered x-ray abdomen standing was suggestive of pneumoperitoneum and ultrasonography abdomen revealed gross amount of free fluid with internal echos we decided against performing ct scan as our patient was having severe anemia and was in sepsis with pneumoperitoneum we thought that ct scan will not change our decision to explore the abdomen on exploring the abdomen we found gross contamination of peritoneal cavity with frank pus we noticed a large 8 by 8 cm perforated tumor in the distal jejunum end block resection of the tumor with segmental jejunal resection was performed histopathological examination was suggestive of malignant round cell tumor tumor cell were positive for cd99 diffuse strong synaptosin focal and ki67 overall ihc profile suggested the diagnosis of peripheral pnet the post operative course was unremarkable extra skeletal living sarcoma or peripheral primitive neuroectodermal tumor is a rare soft tissue tumor that arises from a multipotent progenitor cell and is considered to be of neuroectodermal origin peripheral pnet of small bowel is exceedingly rare with only 31 cases reported in the literature including this case only one case has been reported till today with gastrointestinal perforation it is characterized by specific recurrent translocation usually ews r1 oblique fli1 include living sarcoma and primitive neuroectodermal tumor it is difficult for pathologists to differentiate between living sarcoma and pnet due to overlapping of the genetic abnormality therefore they no longer categorize living sarcoma and pnet as different tumors the distinction lies merely in their degree of differentiation therefore the 2013 update to the world health organization pathology classification system has removed all distinction between pnet and living sarcoma the terms are used interchangeably as they represent opposite end of a spectrum with pnet being more primitive despite the name and because of their common biology they are treated in common protocols but sarc is at a divided pnet family of tumor into three groups based on the tissue of origin cns pnet neuroblastoma and peripheral pnet there are no standard protocols due to rarity of tumor surgery alone is associated with poor outcome the commonest cause of death was metastatic disease we performed extensive literature search using term extraskeletal living sarcoma pnet small bowel and gastrointestinal perforation on various search engine like pubmed google scholar embassy and cementing scholar since the first case report by hori viatel in 2000 only 30 cases reported worldwide we analyzed the cases reported till date using descriptive statistics important findings from this review are it is more common about 20 years of age almost 67.74 percent cases location ileum was the most commonly involved in 61.29 percent cases abdominal lump followed by end deficiency anemia and small bowel obstruction were common presentation gi perforation is extremely uncommon and is due to tumor necrosis or local ischemic changes 27 cases were managed surgically two patients were treated from core biopsy and information not available for one case to conclude peripheral pnet of the small bowel is exceedingly rare contrary to the traditional belief we observed that peripheral pnet of the small bowel is common in patient over 20 years of age group abdominal lump to be the most common presentation and perforation the least common cd99 was positive in 93.10% cases and fli1 was not done in majority of cases although cd99 was positive in other round cell tumors but diffuse membranous positivity along with negative lymphoma epithelial cell neuroendocrine and rhabdomyosarcoma markers suggest peripheral pnet 
Hand block resection with systemic adjuvant chemotherapy is primarily chosen for local and systemic control as for other peripheral PNAD. Thank you very much.